What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So Coney Island is packed full of really, really cool secrets. For instance, we have this hunter mask here in the tree stump. If you go into photo mode and you zoom in, you will notice that the knife is through the left eye of the mask. And if anybody watching is a Friday the 13th fan, the cover for uh, the final chapter, Friday the 13th the final chapter, there is a knife through Jason's mask in his left eye so I wonder if somehow that is actually tied to that hunter mask anyhow so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a bunch of the different secrets in Coney Island I do realize that a lot of you may know about these by now I am late with the video but my file where I'm actually fighting the secret boss got corrupted so I had to redo it and I wanted to put all of these together in one video so I wouldn't have to make a bunch of small videos for all of you and you could just watch just one so again my apologies so anyhow we are here in this little arcade area where you can see all the shooting ducks and the whack-a-moles and there's the prize room back there you can actually open up the prize room by shooting all of the different whack-a-moles the first time that I played through the mission with a friend of mine Bango uh, he saw the door and he said I wonder if we have to maybe blow up the ducks so he threw a grenade at the ducks in hoping uh, in hopes that that would open up the door, but that's not the case. You actually just have to shoot all of the different whack-a-moles here. When you're done shooting all of them, they will make a little noise, and that is your indicator that the door is open. So, I thought it was really cool. I like that they kind of let you, um, in a way, interact with the arcade. I know we're not actually able to pick up uh, the hammers there and hit the whack-a-moles, but still we get to shoot them and it opens up a door which is kind of cool gives you some basic loot nothing too special or anything like that but still it's extra loot that you could break down or sell choice is yours moving on to where you see this big ferris wheel there's a door here that is it can be easily overlooked in my opinion so the way that you can open it is go up onto this platform here look in between the the gates there's a little bit of a crack in them and there's a yellow panel that you have to shoot similar to the classified assignments there's a lot of these things in the classified assignments those panels electrical panels so go ahead and shoot that and the gate will open yet again giving you some basic loot once again you can use it if you're brand new to the game or you can sell it for credits break them down for materials once again that choice is up to you moving on to the next and in my opinion the coolest part of this whole mission and that is the haunted house i searched for hours literally because i thought there has to be something in here and there's a few things in here and i'm sure i'm actually missing something but there are these little red rats there's four of them if you shoot all four you will actually spawn a secret boss called Radigan. He comes out after you fight the cleaners. So what I would do is when you first come in here, clear out all of the different enemies that you have to fight and don't touch the laptop. You have to shoot all four of the rats before you touch the laptop and get Keener's message. You'll see me shoot all four in the background here. And after you do that, once you start to fight all the cleaners, a secret boss will come rushing out and you get to fight him as well. He doesn't drop anything special also, but it's still kind of cool that he's in here, you know, and it's a boss that you can farm when you're running these missions. Say targeted loot is here for a day and you still need the chameleon, for example. You can spawn him so that you get an extra chance at the drop. Now, back to the mask, the mask that we saw at the beginning of the video there. There's also 13 green rats in here. Friday the 13th. The last chapter 13 green rats there has to be something tied into that i just don't know what it is i can't seem to find a way to spawn a hunter i don't know if that's actually what that will lead to but i think it would be awesome to fight a hunter in this environment i really really enjoyed these missions i loved this amusement park i love the haunted house so to have the ability to fight a hunter in here i think would be absolutely incredible I don't know, like I said, if uh, that's actually possible. But all of this has to be here for a reason. You know, in my opinion, it has to be. I know a lot of people say, hey, that's uh, 
that looks like the ghost mask you know like well i ran this mission with a couple of friends and like that's the ghost mask but this one has blood on it and it has a knife through the eye so it's slightly different and why is it you know it's in that tree stump and there's green lighting behind it there's 13 green rats so you're telling me that they're not connected they have to be connected anyway i'm just hopeful that eventually it will lead to something and i really do hope it'll be a hunter but all right anyways guys that is it for me so these are the secrets that i found in coney island there is one more little gated area to get into which i'm sure will just give you some basic loot yet again i couldn't find a way to get in there um and because like i said you, you could see that you could just open up a couple of basic crates so i didn't uh i didn't include that because i wanted to actually show you how to get in there but i haven't been able to find a way yet and again it doesn't lead to anything fantastic but these things here i thought were pretty cool so let me know what you think of them down in the comments section. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Consider subscribing as well for more Division 2 content. And you can follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. Other than that, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.